Oh, is it that time again? Oh, okay. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Three Random Games. Now, this is going to be a much more chill intro compared to usual. Hopefully, you guys do still enjoy this video. I'm looking forward to checking out the three games as I always do. And with that said, let's get started with this thing. But you thought that was accidentally edited in. Nah, it's a chance for you guys to learn about my plushie. What you guys are seeing right here is the limited edition 8-bit Ryan animatronic plush. This is a limited plush, meaning once the time runs out for you to buy this thing, that is going to be it. You cannot get it no more. Just want to put that reminder up there in case some of you guys are debating getting this thing. Link in the description for more information. Let's get the freak back on with the video, though. That dude is probably dead. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. This first game we're going to be playing is called Please Don't Litter, with emphasis on not littering. So, is this a problem in this universe? The menu looked kind of stacked up high. A few years ago, an anomalous object appeared in one of the cities. He looked like a big timer. Every 10 seconds, it generates tons of garbage. Wait, what? Because of this, the inhabitants of the city had to be evacuated. A few months later, the city turned into a dump. In order not to completely litter the whole world, they began to hire garbage collectors. Garbage collectors work almost all night and hardly get paid. You are one of those garbage collectors. Great, so the game is about an anomaly that spawns in trash all the time. That's it. This is our game basis. Here we go. Oh, man. What the freak? Okay, it may be spawning in garbage, but there is no excuse for this. I can't even talk before things start going weird. Building looking like a monster is taking a chomp, though? Now, you got Godzilla problems here, buddy. So, left mouse button to grab. Okay, we can get the trash. Uh, let's do it. So we can place it maybe in the trash like this. This is what we do. This is our job. You can hit all the trash spawning in behind us too, so we gotta be quick time here. We just dump the whole thing in the bin. Like, hang on a second, let me put that there. That didn't work well. By the way, do you guys say the bin or the trash? Some UK words for you, we say in the bin. Okay, we don't say trash. Wait, that's the anomaly. Oh, and there you go. Okay, wait, no, ten. this is where we put the rubbish, so cardboard box. Hasn't even been opened. How do you know this is rubbish? One man's trash is another man's treasure? Something like that. You want me to clean this place up? All right, I'm on it, Chief, I'm on it. Maybe you should just, like, install a huge net underneath here. The zone where this spawns in. Kind of sweep the whole area up in one foul swoop. Like, I don't know, man. Broken glass shards in this too? Okay, this this ain't safe. How am I supposed to keep on top of this? This is impossible. I'm all but one single work. Like, where's all my colleagues at? I, I can't be expected to clean all this on my own. It's no wonder these piles are getting as high as they are, man. Nine. Okay, we want one more. Uh, this box looks good. Like the easiest things to grab. So, bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Ten for ten. And we recycle it, just like so. Wait, trash bins. Oh, we put stuff in here as well. Okay, okay, we can do that, no problem. Trash bin right here. It's like, I feel like I'm trying to race this, but at the same time, like, the trash just spawns in again. Who's creating that trash? Is some alien life form just consuming Pepsis all day long? If you guys enjoyed this episode, I think you know exactly what to do. Like, I can't even stop, though. I gotta keep putting trash in. Uh, one more trash bag, and I'm seeing things literally flying out of nowhere. What's the sole purpose of this? Wait, wait, it generates these. It generates these, so I then put this in here. Are we six for six? Uh, okay. I, I wait for something. What's going on? Um, hang on a moment. This thing... Um, okay, I was talking about, like, alien civilizations. I think we just made a cannon, guys. Let's observe, let's observe. Let the trash board up, we'll pick this up. The more trash we have, the more we can, uh, get, get this thing to, um, you know, do this. Oh, you take, you take the whole thing. You take the whole thing. All right, bud, all right, bud. What am I supposed to do in the meantime, huh? So, do we just, uh, keep stacking this up as much as we can in the meantime? We want to get, uh, as many of those done as quickly as we can. Okay, it's returning it. All right, it gives me a fresh one. And we just continue on with the trend. We just, we keep cleaning up. Even though cleaning up is pointless. It's like my bedroom, guys. You know, as much as I clean it, there's, see, there's no point, man. Like, there's, there's never a point in me picking this thing up. That's what I'm trying to say. And there, we got two more. Good evening. Sir? Um, where did you come from? You must be a garbage collector, right? I help people like you. Do you want to get out of here? I know how to get out of here. You must fill a container for the drone to return. And we fly away with him. Let me know when you fill the container. Ooh, I see your style. I get it. I get it. So he is pretty much proposing that if we collect enough of these, get the garbage guy to come back, we're going to fly out. Wait, we can troll physics on this thing. I, I want to believe this guy. I want to believe this guy that there's a way out of here. My crappy paid job. 
crappy work conditions. Like, it's raining, it's cold, it's the night. Like, what else do you want wrong with this situation? Bro broken glass shards all under my feet. This is just some trash, man. There's a train going overhead too, so this must still be at like a cut through point for civilization. Not entirely abandoned, just uh, a way around things, but what a sight they must be seeing every time. Nothing but this. Oh my gosh, we can throw. We can throw, I had no idea. Oh wow, I, I mean, I'm still missing, but it's making it fun. Go long, bud, go long. <laughs> Two more of the trash bags. Um, I'm gonna try and throw them in. See, that's why you should probably just place them in. I've just wasted my time right now. Uh, I'm just kidding, I want this guy to see how cool I am. Look at this, look how much I'm good at my job. Got to be impressed by that. If he's not, I'm kicking him off this drone when we fly out. Okay, five for six. We got one more. Give me a second, bud. We'll uh, stack this next one up and we will join you back at the seat. Actually satisfying. Now that I can pick things up and throw them, I'm actually enjoying this. This is weird and abnormal. Why would I enjoy doing this? If this was real life, this would be absolute torture. The worst job to ever try and do. Especially in a place where the trash you clean up just spawns back in endlessly. All right. We did this. We did this. Maybe we won't have to do this much longer, though. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. And we are flying out. Place that one in gently. So how do I sit on this now? <gasps> we're doing it. We're doing it. I... We're perched up. Is it coming? No way. This is cool. This is cool. Hey, here he is. He addressed her as a he. I don't, I don't know what this thing is, but you know? Okay, you don't want to talk. He came into here to simply tell me how to get out. This don't feel safe, and it better not grab my back. For real. Because that's going to hurt. Uh, here we go. We're close to those mechanical parts. You wanna, I don't duck? Wait, I'm just flying out. Please don't litter, I ain't sir. Everyone else is, look at these mounds. Like, these are stories high. Wow, is this bridge broken also? It's like the weight of the trash around here just took down the civilization. Wait, look at this. Somewhere in the dump, there is a train on which you can safely leave here. On it, the guards will not notice you. Oh, we're getting an escape plan. Let's go, let's go. I know one person who will help you get to him. He lives somewhere in the garbage unloading area. Whoa, through this thing? Yeah, we're good. Unfortunately, you will have to go to him alone. I won't be able to go with you. All right, get ready to jump. Here? Ah, uh, I'm good. I'm hey! My knees are literally made of titanium. Did you hear that? Did we hear that? Get ready to jump, he says. We did it. I'm sorry, but I can't keep walking with you. Good luck on getting out of this dump. Why don't you want to go, sir? Why don't you want to go? Now we've got some free room. It's so cool. Like, we're playing this. You see, we've got the garbage trucks. They are airborne, always moving like a network. And still, the trash piles as high as it has. They're not preventing this from going down. So there's not much of a point really sticking around this. Wait, what's the... Hold on, what's this? Please don't throw items at this truck. Thank you. Can I talk to the truck? No, trucks don't have... What am I doing? Tr trucks don't have a brain. I'm a troublemaker. I'm a troublemaker. Wait, 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 wait! What? No way, a freaking boss battle. No way. Oh my god, a boss battle with a truck. This is what you call originality right here. Scoop this, scoop this. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Catch that, catch that. This is so interesting. What the heck? Throw that. We don't want to go underneath it. I think that will be uh, how we get killed. So Lola over here. I said low. I meant low, but... Same thing! <gasps> Respectable way to die given the situation. Bro, it's. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show that. There was a bug stuck on top of it, and I think it continually damaged it as a result. So, this thing just gave me the early head start. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, don't go underneath it. That's all we do. This was the. I bust him up. I bust him up. Hey, get out, play it. Hey. All right, you're done, sir. Your trash collecting days are over. Though, what are you trying to imply when you were, uh, you know, trying to pick me up like that? Don't like that. Here's our exit, here's our exit. And the way is open. No one's standing out. No one wants to be in this trashy old stinky place. Do I blame them? Not entirely. Oh, wait, hold up. The guy. This is how we do it. I'm seeing uh, this. Why do you have a duck, though? That's a goose, actually. Hey, I take it you want to get out of this junkyard. There is an abandoned station not far away that has no security, so you can safely leave the train there. The problem is that you have to swim across the river to get there. I'll lend you a boat if you help me. Fill the four containers to my left. Put each type of garbage in its own container. That's all you want? That's it, plastic metal. This is so interesting. I love it, I love it. That's paper, right? There's your paper. Okay, we got that. This is our metal. Uh, how about going along? Let's see how we do. Let's, see. Let's focus on one at a time here. Okay, I say don't do it, but here I am. Okay, again, I've just proven my point. Literally, why you don't go along. It's, it's so 
painstakingly obvious why you shouldn't. And there we go with number seven. You know, I think the rest is gonna be fairly obvious. So here we go. We're gonna get like some kind of cleaning montage. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nice. Good stuff. There you go. Hello. Nice to meet you. Cool. Nice. 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 Sweet. Nice. Cool. 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 Oh, thank you very much. You can take the boat. Good luck getting out of this dump. Yeah, thank you. That's the boat. Okay, let's hop in. This is um, this is going places. And here we are. We made it. We made it to the other side. The train track. This is how we leave. We've seen the train go over, right? Wait for the train. Hop on. Apparently, there's no guard here. Perfect. Perfect. Here it comes. Here it comes. Hey, slow down. Slow down. Run that thing to a halt. Is it slowing down? It is. <gasps> yep. 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 This is my way out. This is my way out. I saw that. And here we go. We leave. We leave behind this desolate, destroyed city, which waste of power also. If no one's living here, why has everything got a power source? Here we go. That's it. The game was made by Ken Forrest in just 72 hours. Played well. Felt good. A simple concept for a game. Very satisfying. And it, it did what it needed to do. It, it kind of immersed you in this small world. We got to live in it for a little while and then eventually escape it. I ain't gonna lie. Starting today out, I did not think I was gonna play a horror game about trash. But here we now are. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> This next game is called Spongebob Killer Pants because like, it's, it's scary guys, because he's gonna kill us. I'm gonna just hit play. I don't know anything about this game. I guess we're gonna learn. It was Friday, the 23rd of September. You worked as a cleaner at the Krusty Krab. Menacing with that. You were used to the job by now. It was normal until that night when things didn't feel normal. What happened on that night? You heard noises. That of which you had never experienced before. Were you going crazy? Or was there something truly evil lurking inside? We're gonna see. Here we go, WSD to move. We're in the game, guys, we're doing this. Krusty Krab horror game. SpongeBob's gonna kill us. All right, this world sucks though. Look, we see, we got the trio right there. We got this. What happened to Bikini Bomb? Did the place just get demolished? Guys, I don't know. It's not about me. It never was about me. Here we are, we're the cleaner. We ain't even in this place yet, and already we're freaking out. So what is this? What is this? Are you canon? I don't remember you being canon. I I'm not gonna lie. Trash bin behind this. Um, yep, it's just a trash bin, who'd have thought? I don't like my odds. We, ooh, this is how we start a shift, so we clean off the tables like so. Why has this place gotta be so gritty? I've never known a crusty crowd place to look like this. We'll do our job, we'll clean up. People enjoyed their food today. That really doesn't look clean, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, did I, I clean the table behind me, let me see. Okay, yeah, I cleaned the wrong table. What the heck even happened right there? <laughs> doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We're still getting our job done. This is all we do. Pick up the pieces that no one else wanted to, especially not the customers after they enjoyed their food. Would it hurt to just, you know, have the lights on a little bit? So take trash out to the dumpster behind the building. We saw that before. Like, I'm trying to clean out here. You don't have to skimp out on the power this much, Mr. Krabs. Are you kidding me? And I should probably save that sprint for a while. Okay, here we go, here we go. Throw it in, throw it in. Boom. Easy. Sweep them off the floors. You, you... What was that? That actually made my heart jump a little bit. Investigate the sound. Um, I'm investigating. Sure, I'm seeing nothing. Probably a wild coyote or whatever, whatever's down here, I don't know. I'm gonna go back inside into the safety of this place. Wait, the sound didn't come from anywhere else. It came from within sight. Enter the freaking, we're in the basement, guys. We're in the freaking basement! Crap, that's real blood! Yo, why is this like kind of like a scary concept for me? What am I doing here? Do you want me to clean this? Each winter. We got ah! What the heck? It's SpongeBob Killer Pants! And there's nothing we can do! Maybe there is. Oh, oh, he's got that broken neck. Okay, he's looking extra. Where are we going? Wait, we're holding the flashlight! <laughs> I got so many questions about this game already. Why was a human at the bottom of the ocean just doing work like no problem? What a shift that we got to experience. That was a short and sweet one, and we got the message. Yeah, the game name really does speak volumes about what happened, didn't it? He, uh, he killed us, really. No chase, no plot. All we did was we cleaned tables, and that, that, was, that was basically it. Just gonna move on right now. I'll see you guys on game three. <laughs> This third game we are going to be playing is called Anthology of Fear. I don't know much about this. It says over on the itch page, basically we're investigating our brother's disappearance, but it looked like one of the better looking games that I've seen in a long time. So I want to play it for its, uh, I guess for the end. This might be a little bit of a longer video, but we're going to have to wait and see. Pops it in there, yeah. He wants to know what went down. 
What's that tape house? Is it some kind of mysterious story? Keen to find out. In goes the tape. And uh, wait, do we play what's on the tape? We are the person in the tape? Wait, hold up, hold up. Let me see. Okay, I don't know. I have no idea. Pulse and red light, don't know what that signifies. <gasps> I breathed as deep as this dude did. And here we go, get out of the car. All right, and here we go. This is Anthology of Fear. All right, here we go. Let's hop out of the car anyway. And away we go. It's like sort of olden time. We see with the uh, the style here. So take a look around the place. Stay asleep. Don't tell me what to do with this. It's an interesting control. So we right click and we have this cursor where we can almost like point and click on stuff to uh, examine things. Never seen a game do that, but it works very well. Very simple idea. Hey, I'm picking my feet up. What's this? The phone is a lie. What? Hold on, hold on. Let me see that. Honestly, I have no idea what that is referring to. Me neither. I put a tape in, not a phone. Maybe they screwed it up. Maybe it was supposed to be for something different. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I'm gonna be over there in just a sec. I've got anything back here? Nope. This... What the freak was that? If I run just a little bit, is that my, my bad cardio? Bro, that might have been my trashy old cardio. Hold up. What is this? Hey, ma'am, you good? I mean, you ain't real. You don't need that. That's not a logical place to put a mannequin. No, you're right. Good. It's very smart. An ordinary fuel canister, I think it still has some gas in it. We can't take it though. Okay, so we've noted that about our environment. Let's uh, head over to mannequin number two. Wait, when we were doing that, the phone rang. Um, uh, sure, I got you. I don't feel so good looking at the phone. I have a feeling I should stay away. Okay, what's the uh, what's the mannequin got? We got like a crowbar here. Take that. You picked up a crowbar. Open the door. Wait, what door are you talking about? This one here? Right, I can't go that way. So you're gonna have to be more specific. You want a door opened? What door? There's something about that phone too that doesn't resonate well with us at all. What door does the game want us to open? Is there a door down here? Doesn't doesn't appear to be. Maybe we should run all the way back. Perhaps it's talking about near a. I just heard a knock, but that sounded like it was on some kind of metal or wood. Wait, this door here? Hey, ma'am, put your cheeks away. I'm opening this thing. Take a look around. Let's go. Uh, you just stand there, okay? If you see someone, shout. All right. Wait, is that is that lipstick? Hello. Bro, you're talking to mannequins. What the freak is going on? So we got a generator. All right, cool. Some kind of generator you, you don't say. Can we power this thing up? Buns don't do anything. Interesting. Oh, maybe it has power. Okay, cool. Uh, restore power in the elevator. Does the noise really have to come in like that afterwards? I don't think there's any fuel. Well, we know where the fuel was, so we go back. You're still, yep, standing there. Thank you. Wait, the mannequin is in the car. I repeat, the mannequin... Is it, wait, the mannequin is not in the car. Wait, the mannequins are gone. Wait, that's just me breathing. <gasps> Let it go. Let it go. You're not real. Are you, are you following me? It's not funny anymore. You see the little swirls on the face? The heck's that all about? What kind of funky prank are you guys pulling on me? Whoever's around here, it's not funny. It is not funny, nor is it clever. It's time to stop, guys. For real. It's time to stop. Hey, ma'am, uh, I'm just gonna bust on past here. So we put the fuel in this guy here. Simple little game so far. I'm, I'm liking the flow to everything. And we go down to the next layer. We, we're trying to figure out what's going on with this mystery. I don't know if this is on the tape that we're watching or really what's happening here. There's, there's some pieces from like different sections or segments of the game. We get the same red transition and we hear a phone again. I can't, I can't control the looking around here. Here we go, we've arrived somewhere. But is it good, or is it much more worse? I'm gonna vote the second one. Can you maybe open? Yeah. I think I was right, guys. What the heck is this place? I don't know. I mean, good that it's got power. Take a look around the place. You got it, Chief. You got it, Chief. That must be like my mind telling me to do that. What is with this? Hey, come on. Someone's gonna be around here. Looks very desolate. All windows have been barricaded shut too. Oh, okay, that's it. Got a clock. The clock is stuck on 303. How much time have I spent down here? Down here? What are you referring to, man? What do you mean? A light screen right there. Um, there's a bedroom. Not much in here, though. This feels suspect opening all of these. Like, I don't like my odds. Woo! -hoo! Okay. Lucha, I thought that was some whimpering. I was freaked out for a second. See 303 again up there. Reoccurring with the patterns. It's like that drawer. There is something in there. It's like a trinket of some kind. Can we can we take this? It's a, I can see it's a key. It won't let me take it. Wait, no, it's not. It's 
two different items. It looked like a key from that angle. That's interesting. Misleading as well on my part. I'm sorry, guys. Please. I I'm trying here. Locked. Open. Open. We got fresh towels in there. And I don't know what the heck that thing is. No idea at all. One door partially opened up. Hello? It's closed shut. Come on, man. I'm room service. What the heck's going on? I'm actually going to retrace my steps before we leave. There's a totally separate way we can go here. Let's check some of these rooms out. Maybe there's some other goodies. First door is shut. That's not good. I don't I don't like this. This is disturbing. Yeah, I think I think I like it more like that. Okay, so I'll head down this flight of stairs. Hello? Anyone else here? We see another elevator. I can try and maybe use this. There are no buttons here. I don't know how to open it. Okay, lots more doors to uh, check around then. Small, I guess that would have been like a, a, cu a cupboard or something with the doors removed. I didn't even slide that open and it started opening. Uh, what about if I didn't want to see that though? I mean, you can't be assuming like that. All right, this is, uh, it's not looking good, is it? Scared me to death. What the heck is that? Wait, crap. Wait, found the key. Okay, this game is cool. Picked up a flashlight. Let's go. Let's go. Back out, back out. Okay. Flashlight in hand. We go back. I'm gonna try to open this one more time. We can look in here too. Not much for us to already observe. Take it easy, take it easy right there. There's some kind of paranormal existence. Yep, yep. Thank you for confirming. I didn't even have to finish my sentence. It was like, it's like the, the paranormal thing wanted to cut in with me. Finish my sentence for me. You know that light's coming on. You know that light's coming straight on. Do you hear me? Nah. I don't know what to expect. Maybe I should try turning this on. I felt almost like there would definitely be something coming. Z D M H Z D M H S Q D A Double Um Hey, can you excuse me, please, ma'am? S O H D Let's turn it Lynch. I can't turn off. Are you kidding me? Maybe it's time we leave. I think it's time we leave as quick as we can. You know what? Run to the mannequin. I don't know why. It's a... There was two of them. There was two of them. There was literally two of them. Peek. Peek, peek, peek. This one doesn't work. Maybe the other one will. You've got to be... How do you know that? Oh my gosh. Got to run it back. Got to run it all the way back. If you hold like W and S and sprint sideways, you go quicker. Maybe that's for the best. Okay, I'm doing it. Skip you. Skip you, Mr. TV Radio Man. Woo! The elevator opened. This might be my way out. You know what, sir? We take it. We take it. We take it as fate. I'm glad to be leaving that floor. There was some kind of weird code on the TV. I don't know what any of that meant. It was mumbling on a gobbledygook. And we take the tape out. Is that what we saw on the tape? Is that what it's trying to say? Put a fresh one in. Hmm. Deeper into the rabbit hole of this game we go and the mystery that it's trying to pre present, I guess, to us as a player to figure out. Mommy? Voice lines. What Mom? Happened? Where are you? I'm just gonna talk back? Why are you crying? Something bad happened? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why do I Okay, I did a ballerina twirl just like that. Press F to use the flashlight. Awfully, yeah, awfully dark down here, not gonna lie. I don't like this. Can we can we maybe leave? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Find your daughter. So we're the mother. We're playing as the mother. I have to find her. Yeah, you do. Yeah, we gotta find her quick time. So this must be a memory. We see we've got floating books and stuff like that. I'll open both of those things ahead of time. Living room. Memories. It's like, is it broken memories or something? Why did you leave me? I didn't leave no one. What are you talking about? Why are you like this? These garbled memories and the way things are cast around like that must mean something. I just don't know what. This game looks really nice though. I'm gonna say it. This game looks really, really good. Let's, let's keep moving. This is a promising start for a demo, too. Good stuff. Okay, let's see. What's this way? Very narrow. Let's bust this door down. Bust it down as I open it as peacefully as I possibly can. I'm gonna open this. Hold on. Where are you? I'm, I'm right outside trying to open. I love you. What? You picked up a toy book. Wait, I need that? Oh, here, here. We're trying to spell something. It looks like there's something missing here, but I've got nothing that would fit. You're working on it. That says I'm sorry. Definitely implying a daughter. More and more links to her. Keeps going like that. Should we try to open this? Another toy block. We need two more then before we uh, try and move back. All right, what the freak is this demonic bullcrap? Mommy, look at the white bunny. It's shining. Implying maybe that that's the objective. So we've got another toy block. 
We're missing all but one single toy block. Perhaps it's in the bedroom at the very beginning. We uh, we must have run straight past that thing, not paying attention. One, two. Okay, and then it looks like we got to do some kind of solving puzzle afterwards. That looked like ripe for peeling up, though. Are you sure we can't? Let's take a stroll back. We must have missed one of the toy blocks back here on ourselves, unless it's on the floor floating somewhere. Let's observe around here real quick to see if we can spot anything. Might be in the drawer here. They locked that one up. And that one too. Hmm. So it must be elsewhere. This one? This one? Come on. Come on! She spoke about the rabbit shining. It just says I'm sorry, and that's it. Oh, right underneath our nose is right there. So we have the complete sentence where we gotta do. Okay, we switched these blocks up, so we're trying to spell something. Is it gonna be like Emily or something? I feel like it's gonna be Emily. There you go, it was. Where are you? I don't know. Maybe we can find her. This is where we wanna go through. Hey, Emily, come on. It's mom. I'm trying to help you. Out? Emily! My, my, how you've grown! You look tall. What the freak? That wasn't Emily, that was nothing. My mind is going crazy. It's gotta be. I gotta be losing track of things around this place. I guess I did already say this is a very dreamlike state. I'm gonna actually make it also a habit to search every one of these we come past. Okay, unless of course the game doesn't let us do it! What are these all on the walls? We can't even examine those this time. Scribblings all on the wall. Why did you leave me over and over again? We find this out. We, f we figure this whole mystery out. It's like a bedroom. You left Emily. You- uh. Why did Emily leave like this? What did we do? Wait, the whole room just switched. Bust this one open? Okay, don't bust this one open. I don't care. Drawers are all sealed up. Nothing really for us to search in this room. I guess this is Emily's bedroom. The world turned upside down. Completely. Wait, what is this? The bathroom? Okay, these don't open. These don't open. What is going on, man? This is so trippy. Four more things, my life is hollow. What is this over here? My flashlight is weak as freak. What is this? No? Yes, I do. What is Emily's story? We've got Alice and Emily. What is Emily's story, he says. Whoever the freak he is. What do you want from me? What the heck do you want from me? No, keep that light on. Keep that light on. So there's something in this room we need. Four items, maybe? Uh, can we look in here? Just says, I love you. Memories, uh, items, some kind of tool that we gotta put somewhere. You see, this plug goes somewhere, but we can't interact with that. Wait, this door wasn't here before. I have to go back. Wait, back. Yo, what the freak? How? It's just gone. You have to go back. Oh, we're, we're all the way back. Ay! What the heck was that? This is actually creepy right now. What is going on? It's not the time yet. What do you mean? It's time to stop whatever's going on here. That's for sure. Oh my god, I'm actually getting chills. Go. Go. Just run it. Just run it. What's the worst that can happen, huh? Just death. Just, you know, a bit of death in our mind. Back here, back here. <gasps> what is that? What is that? The TV. Do not. Do you remember? Do I remember what? Do I remember? Once upon a time, okay, there was this? a little girl. The TV's Emily was gone. her name. With her brushes, she would swirl. Painting was her world. Art always in her mind. A hobby? She loved animals, big and small, no matter of what kind. Kind ha, kind ha. One day, that. a big storm came and a scary thunder roared. Oh, Gladly, your voice her best friend then. was Hold there on. so she could be her ward. And so our girl wouldn't be scared. The friend invited her to play. Friendly. And with that, that little help, the fear of thunder Aww. went away. A good then, resolution, huh? A loud rumble was heard. Uh, Everything went blank around. Uh -oh. Screaming was loud in the house, and then a crying sound. Great! But this time it wasn't her crying. What was it? Please, what was it? What was it? Okay, something messed up's about to happen. This time it wasn't. Do you remember? Do you remember? Art? You picked up a drawing. <gasps> the drawing's on the walls. Wait, 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 look at this, look at this. They're being, like, placed all around here. Maybe go down more, find more art. Do I remember? Do you remember? Pulling us down. Look at that, pulling us down. <sighs> Might want to stop that, but all right, we'll keep it going. Another picture. I think we need a total of four. That's sealed. It's, it's a straight, it's a straight path with this one, guys. Straight path with this one. I'm going to close the doors in case they hide it behind. They haven't so far. Look, picture three. There it is. Oh, the first one's going to be in a messed up corner. I, I'm just feeling it. This one? <gasps> okay. Not so messed up. The void. I remembered something. Good. You probably should. Let's try and remember more. Like, going over here, I think it was. Put the pictures up. Painting, the TV. 
What what does this all mean? Maybe we talk to It's an eyeball. Of course you don't. We don't remember? What kind of a mother are you? It's watching you me. Are that. Useless. Dang, that's do some harsh words, eyeball. Do it. Do it right, he says, do it. Wait. We flick these in a specific order. Maybe it relates back to the um the story we had. So I think it would have been painting, and then it was about thunder coming, uh the friend. And then this. Oh, let's go! I got it from the story. Let's go! We did that. Hey, good memory. Yes, I listened to the story. What? Tell you what? Because you're rival. What? I am. You're gonna have to elaborate, bud. Don't forget how it really went. So, it was your fault. It, wait, wait, I'm it being blamed. Emily's fault. We are Emily, right? Wait, okay, I'm so confused. Do you remember? No! I don't! I don't remember, bud. You're freaking me out. What the heck? I'm just a giant eyeball on my wall, man. I'm just gonna censor that whole screen. This is um, something you guys, I don't think you need to see. But I'll just let you guys know it. Um, there might be some bodies lying on the floor. I'm not sure. Okay, this is not good. This is a bad idea. I'm going down backwards. I'm going down forwards. Okay, my light wasn't working. I was about to start straight up screaming right there if it made us go down further. Two tapes down. You hear this guy breathing a lot. Is that a flashlight in the back? What the heck did he do? I'm going to imagine he shot his window because he couldn't break the triple glazing. It was too intense for his fist. Solve the mystery and the full version of the game and add Anthology of Fear to your wishes. This is a good looking game. This does look good. Interesting with the puzzles and stuff and the way it was presenting itself. I really, really did enjoy that. Cool, I like mystery games like that. It doesn't need like enemies running at you and stuff. Just a nice little story that was slowly being told by looking around, being observant and listening and it rewarded that. So good stuff. Well, there we go, guys. That is going to be it for this episode of 3 Random Games. Again, sorry that this video might be a little bit less edited. I'm still trying to talk the same amount. It's really weird. It's like if my lungs are full, I'm absolutely okay. But the moment they get kind of below like half inflated, I start to feel weird pain. Like, it's, it's weird. I don't get what's going on. Either way, I had fun playing these three games. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you want check them out for yourself or wishlist the final game you can check the description down below but if you guys did enjoy this episode why not drop me that like rating? and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thanks so much for watching this video guys of course hope you did enjoy and i'll of course see you on the next one